Hi friends and welcome back. So uh, today I actually want to answer um, a question I had from one of our commenters um, this week and I'll read that to you. So thank you for your uh, question, Nicole. Uh, she writes, I joined Arthur Murray a year ago and I'd like to become a competitive ballroom dancer just as good as Dancing with the Stars. What do I need to do to get there? So um, everyone wants to know what, what to do to be the best dancer they can be, but this is a very specific question in terms of competition and um, growing to an elite championship level. Certainly anyone at any age at any skill level can compete. However, if you want to uh, perform at the level of the professionals you see on, see on that show, um, if there is kind of a, a special path you do need to take, okay? Um, the bad news, Nicole, is I do not know a single person who has become an elite level, professional championship level competitor on the international kind of scale um, coming out of any chain studio, including Arthur Murray. Um, chain studios absolutely have their strengths and they are mostly on the social side. It's almost like joining an, an, an Eagle's Lodge or something. There's a huge social element involved. Um, uh, however, to be in all truth in the championship levels of kind of the international dance sport community, um, the professionals coming out of um, some those type of studios are low to mediocre at best. Um, I do have a championship of a friend who owns an Arthur Murray studio, um, but she did not train in that studio. She tra trained alongside of me with my little peer group um, with an independent instructor as our primary, who we took from other independent instructors per the recommendation of our primary coaches. Um, and after she retired from competition, she um, invested in purchasing her own um, Arthur Murray franchise for financial reasons. And um, because as an owner, there's a huge um, financial benefit to owning a chain studio rather than an independent studio. Those studios financially tend to just squeak by. Um, so certainly you can compete just as a kind of more of a participant competitor that's not going to really get to that level you see the stars on the to this show um, within that Arthur Murray chain system and um, they even have their own closed to chain studio only competitions. Um, I personally don't extremely highly recommend those because then you're they kind of keep you away from seeing the best dancers um, but that is an option for you if, if you just want to compete. Um, but I just, in all honesty, I don't envision, um, anyone be ever becoming to that level you would see on TV, um, by coming out of that system. Um, I'm absolutely not recommending guys that you quit your chain studio if you're in one. If it is a good positive experience for you, you're happy with your accomplishments, your goals, your progress there, stick with it. Um, but I am just answering from the bottom of my heart, in all honesty, um, a question from someone that really wants to get to a higher level. Um, you will, So you will need to eventually kind of graduate from the instruction in that studio and take from the best local pros that you can. And then you'll kind of graduate to higher level pros. Now, if you are in a small town, Nicole, you know, maybe that chain studio is your only option, in which case you're going to need to travel for coaching. Um, but guess what? Doesn't matter how good coaching is within your driving distance. Ultimately, you're going to need to take from your coach's coaches to get to their skill level. Okay. Um, so a good place as a starting ground, my recommendation would be um, to kind of reach escape velocity. You don't have to quit your studio, but expose yourself to other dancers in town. Do that by just showing up to local social dances open to the public 
check your local USA dance chapter. You might have a Facebook page, say, I don't know what part of the country you're in, but I assume you're writing from the United States, which is where I am. You know, most cities will have, say, you live in Cincinnati, you know, ballroom dancers, Cincinnati or something, you know, check Facebook out for a social group like that. And then you can post questions on there like, hey, where do I go to find social dance options in town, in the area? When you go to that social dance that's open to the public, again, I'm not talking about a closed chain studio, Arthur Murray only dance. I'm talking about a local community dance open to all dancers from all studios. You can um, cherry pick the room. Look at the dancers in the room. Who is dancing the most awesome there? And of those couples, and I would ask more than one, hey, where do you recommend to take lessons? I want to compete and be the best dancer I can be. And, you know, you might hear several different recommendations. You know, most people are apt to recommend their own coach and think they're the best. But um, I'm assuming since you're asking about competing and you've already been taking lessons, you know, you yourself would understand. You would have an eye for aesthetic and just know, you know, maybe I don't know exactly what right or wrong is, but I know what good dancing looks like and you can talk to those people, you know, and they'll make honest recommendations for you. Um, you know, I'll tell you, when I first started taking lessons, it was with a teacher that was just from, from a local chain studio, although he had left that studio long before. So not an elite level coach by a long shot, but I did kind of learn the basic steps and that was kind of got me going. Um, I graduated to a better local dance teacher who at that time was teaching the best people in town. Um, but then when I became their best student, I realized I had capped out this person's potential. I started driving to another state to get coaching. Um, and when I outgrew all of those people and was like, well, I'm the best competitor here. Um, I went to USA Dance, the national amateur championships, and I looked around there for who are the top competitors here. And I saw that they were all taking in New York. And I was like, well, I don't know what they're doing there, but there must be one amazing teacher there. So I did R&D when I got home. And as soon as possible, I was able to um, schedule lessons. And then I flew to New York um, every month, every other month. And I would stay for at least a week at a time. Then my coaches, who I could not envision anyone else in the world that was better, they were like, you know, if you want to get better, you need to take from our coaches. So then I started flying to England to take with their coaches. Now you can't get in with those like world elite level pro um, instructors on your own. You really need an in. So you kind of got to work your way up the ranks a little bit in terms of getting better teacher, better teacher, better teacher. The better your pro is, the better instruction they'll be able to refer you to. And regardless of your talent, you are going to need to get expensive coaching. And um, I, I can't um, emphasize this enough. There's no cheap way to go about this. Um, anyone who's really at an elite level in their field had to invest in that, you know. Um, I'm a great lawyer, but I, you know, how many years was I in law school, for example? Um, so even, if, you know, if if you think, well, I can get away with not traveling now, in all honesty, if you want to get to that level you see on Dancing with the Stars, you are going to have to um, get to that point where you are traveling quite a bit for um, not only coaching, but also politically, there's a lot of competitions you have to do. For example, in England, you have Blackpool, you have the UK Open, you have the International. These are all different times of the year. Um, so... I have loved every single aspect of my dance life, and I would not have chosen to live a life any other way. I love it. Um, but I also recognize it's not for everyone because I did have to make some very challenging sacrifices. Um, it took many, many, many years of putting every single penny, every single second I had um, into becoming a good dancer. Um, so I wish you luck with that. I hope that's been helpful. If you guys have other experiences um, on how 
you can become a world-class dancer, let me know in those comments below. Um, and I hope that was helpful to you, Nicole. Thanks so much for your question. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.